Hello and welcome back and today we want to continue looking at the Buffalo Terra Station Windows Storage Server Series. They're the brand new range of NASIs that they've released that arrive with Windows Server 2016 and Windows Storage Server License on board which means you can create multiple VMs and have a great user interface for you to play with via a NAS device and Buffalo have got their own OS don't get me wrong you can head over to some the other Buffalo Terra Station range they've got a huge range of 10 GPE solutions but this is their range of Windows Storage Server devices so first and foremost if you haven't already heard about it do check out the other videos we've gone through the entire range the hardware the software the capabilities but for now I just want to show you one how to get into these devices on a software level and two what exactly you can do so First and foremost, here we are on our desktop setting here. And if you install the software called NAS Navigator, I've got NAS Navigator here, it's up to version 2.9, I believe. And from here, it will scan your local area network and it will find different devices on the network. And as you can see, I'm on an environment here of shared uh, Windows Storage Server devices. So pretty much the entire range of Windows Storage Server 2016 devices. I think there's an eight bay missing from there, but I might be wrong. Now. When you click scan, it will check your network. You can click refresh and it will find them all, but these are all the ones on the same network. And straight away, you can map all of the remote shares immediately as network drives if you so choose. And what that means in real terms is on your system here, if you go into your PC system, you'll be able to add these drives as network drives one by one. Now, if we look at one of these, we'll look at the rack mount device that we have here. And if we right click that rack mount, we can browse available shares on the device. And again, because I've already logged into this device, it lets me see this. But normally, if you haven't gone into it the first time, it will ask for your login credentials. And from here, if they're shared folders and files with your network and you've, your login credentials allow you to see them, you'll see lots of files and folders there. Next, um, open remote desktop. I'm going to save that for the end because that will open next into our next good video. Uh, in properties, obviously, this is where we can open up that remote desktop as well as giving us real time information about the IP and the HCP and stuff like that on the device we're looking at. If we carry on, we can create a short uh, desktop shortcut. And there we go. Now we can get into this device at a double click and it's been added to our desktop, nice and simple. And if you've got multiple devices in the network, what you can do is execute the NAS to do some beeping, some notifications, some alert for you in case you've got multiple uh, Terra Station Buffalo devices and you need one of them to peep and just let you know that it exists. That's an option for you. And again, nice and straightforward, the NAS Navigator is what it says on the tin. It is designed to just help you find these devices on your network. But now, let's talk about how we get into these devices, shall we? Well, let's take a look at this one. Let's open a remote desktop and we'll connect to this device. Let's get into it. And we're opening up a local session. And now we are accessing the back end of this Windows Storage Server now. It's giving us access to Windows Storage Server 2016 on Buffalo NAS. It really is that straightforward. And this opens up over the network, over the internet, depending on how you've set your um, search settings up. And now we are going to save going over this software for another video. We're going to do an overview of Windows Storage Server 2016 um, on Buffalo NAS while this loads up all the features and functionality like you would boot any PC. As well as because these devices are 10 GBE, we're going to revisit that great 10 GBE switch of theirs, the BSMP2008. The cost effective and very affordable um, manageable 10 GBE switch. As we can see when we've gone into here, there is an alert for us here, letting us know that there's an alert for one of our servers. And right now there's an update happening there in the background with synchronization. So again, we'll leave that there. We'll come out of that and we'll close the Windows Server dashboard. And this is the Windows Server interface, uh, Windows Storage Server 2016. And straight away, we've got these extra options here that normal versions of Windows 7, 8 and 10 will not display. And that's why we're going to end this video because the next video is going to discuss a number of these options. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Do remember, you can go to span.com now to pick up your Windows Storage Server 2016 NAS, worldwide shipping, all the rest of it. But it doesn't matter where you go, this is still going to be one of the best file server NASs out there for those that are very familiar 
with the Windows way of doing things. And if you're already familiar with Windows Storage Server 2012 to 2012 R2, this is very much going to be of interest to you. So do check them out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.